For various reasons, some dogs are not allowed to roam freely when pet parents are gone. And some dogs are not yet acclimated to their crates. Some dogs will even panic in a crate. And for some dogs, we might be too gone too long for the dogs to stay in a crate. That's why pet parents can set up a safe area or safe room, also known as a doggy den or a long-term confinement area. We set off a place in the house that has nothing in the area that the dog can use to get himself into trouble, nothing that might cause injury to the dog, or nothing valuable that the dog might destroy. And we want to make that room as comfortable as possible. So we'll set up a crate in the room in case the dog does decide voluntarily to retreat to the crate. Just in case the dog doesn't want to retreat to a crate, we'll leave a blanket on the floor for the dog. And of course we'll have water and toys in the room. We, and we want to make the dog comfortable. So if there is a window in the room, that's great for natural light to come in. And notice that this window sits up high, so it'll work. But we don't want dogs looking out the window all day and barking at passers-by. So if the window is low enough for the dog to look out, then we need to have something like these plantation shutters that we can close. Or we need to block the windows with furniture or some type of film. We also want to make the room secure. One of the ways we can do that is with a baby gate or a gate made especially for dogs. This one is pretty sturdy and it's tall, about four feet. It's made out of metal and it can be screwed into the door frame. But if you have other dogs roaming or you have an escape artist, you don't want the dog's face right up against the baby gate or the dog gate. So you'll have a airlock. And what I use for an airlock here is just a exercise pin that is opened up. And that's just to keep the dog away from the doorway. And if you wanted extra security, you could also put another airlock in the hallway leading towards the safe room. Now some dogs might be able to clear a four foot gate and for those dogs you'll need a either much taller exercise, you need a taller exercise pen or a taller baby gate. Some people stack two baby gates or you can make this door secure. You can close the door but some dogs find closed doors very disconcerting. So what you could do is replace this wood door with something like a storm screen door, something that the dog can't destroy but still see out of, something with glass as long as the dog isn't going to break the glass or jump up on it. Now you want to test out the safety of your safe room before you have to be gone for long periods of time. So test it out while you're at home first and then leave a short periods of time and see how the dog does. And speaking of long periods of time, if you have to be gone for quite a while, make sure you leave a toilet area for the dog. Find a corner away from the dog's sleeping area and put down some sod or artificial turf. And speaking of potting in the house, you want to make sure that the floor is easy to clean if the dog is not yet house trained or if the dog has to hold it for a long time. But you don't want a slippery floor like tile. If you have something like tile or laminate or wood, then put some carpet runners or something down so the dog won't slip. I have rubber flooring here. It's easy to clean and it's easy to walk on. For more training tips, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Pet Education, or follow us on Facebook, Stubby Pudding, S-T-U-B-B-Y-P-U-D-D-I-N. Thank you.